What's up audience? So what I'm going to do here is a step-by-step -step Weber Genesis E310 assembly video. Here's our first step, which is to take the two sides, take both sides, screw them with the black bolt and the silver washer on both ends. After your sides are secured, we're going to place the casters here on both sides. Let's do that now. That's two per side. Tighten it up with the provided tool that came with installation. So now you put the clips on the base. On the got base. the hole on it. And you got six of them. You six get a holes. redneck to put it together for you. <laughs> you get borrow some help. And eventually it's gonna go between the bottom there. So here we go. The bottom portion is in the clips. Clipped in just fine, mm -hmm. and after the clips, just tighten in the bolt right there to the bottom, and we're on the next piece. The next piece we're going to assemble is the piece that holds the catch dripping pans. So this here, these two holes line up at that hole, this hole goes this hole in the side, and then just kind of hangs there for your drippings. Let's see what it looks like when we're done. How interesting, to assemble this, we're going to place these little clips into the bottom of the base and put the screws into the clips. So I don't have to tip it up or get underneath it. That's kind of nice. After the catch pan is installed, this lid is heavy. Look at how easy that thing tips. Wow, look at this. Woo! What you do is you take <laughs> We take those pins out and remove this heavy lid so we can install the base. Once the lid's off, place the grill top on your assembled base. After the lid's on, on the back here we put the liquid propane hose. Just a couple screws from this side, tighten them down, and your hose is good to go. A couple things to note, you're going to want to ensure that this nut here is good and tight. As well, they didn't provide the tool for that, so make sure you start bringing your own tools. Next, you install the propane gauge, full to empty. Looks like you hang it here and it weighs it. There's the hole in the hookup. Just a couple of screws right there. Tighten them up. After the gauge is put on, just four quick bolts and the back is on. Now we're gonna take the front where the knobs and the starter go and catch it on this little hook here. And then seal it down and do uh, the screws. Up under here we have the ignition. Put this little washer around the threading. Next thing you've got is the battery and the ignition cap. Oh, you hear it? There it is. Working. Working and good to go. There's the ignition button. You one know one knob working. ready. Next you uh, put this shield in right here. After the shield, the pan slides on. Okay. Wait a second. The grooves there, and in it slides. And there's some bolts that secure that down. I think. At least there's some holes for it. We'll see. I don't. Yeah. Now we're going to assemble the burners. These go in the bottom and lay down on each side. Once those are down in there tight, then you start putting in the rest of the triangular pieces in the notches along the bottom. And these here are the boxed up cast iron grates about to go on top right there. Let's see what it looks like with them placed in. There we go. Cast iron grill top. Oh, that's nice. Let's get some knobs and some doors on this thing. Bam, camera, what? Weber, the lid is on. It's in, the knobs are on. 
Now all we need to do is put the doors and the sides on. So these are the doors of the Weber grill. We're going to put the handles there. We have some hardware to place in there. And then once the hardware is in, just screw it through the holes right there. Now the handles are on the doors. And this edge here was protected by some blue plastic covering. Now what we're going to do is install the door using this. And you look in there, there's that little metal right there. You pull this down. So when you install the doors, you set it in the bottom notch. Come up here, use your screwdriver, pull this down, set it in the top notch. You're going to have some great doors. Now that the doors are on our Weber grill, now we just need to put the sides on. To do that, we have some hardware. And there she is. See here. 100% put together. And we got some screws left. Ready to go. Let's go put them to work. And there she is. 100% put together. Ready to go. Genesis. Bam. Oh, just heavy duty craziness. Awesome. And we got some some blue rhino gas ready to go.